I find it increasingly ironic how the most common criticism of most media today is that it isn't original. Whether you're talking about games, movies, television, books, whatever, the easiest and most regurgitated complaint that you can possibly throw at it is that it's just all trite, repetitive nonsense that's been done a million times before. Chances are that you have heard in the past week that nobody makes original things anymore. Where's the new stuff? Where's the fresh, original ideas that are supposed to keep these industries moving forward? And yet, in that same vein, when something does come out, when something is exceedingly original, fresh, and not done very often, those are the things that you frequently see are overlooked or ignored in favor of the same trite, repetitive nonsense that you've seen a million times before. In the movie space, Everything Everywhere All at Once is a perfect example of this. This is one of the most original and creative movies that I have seen in recent years, and yet despite that, despite everybody going on about how excellent it is, it still didn't even make a tenth of what the newest Marvel movie did, a movie that I'd like to point out tackles exactly the same concept, just in a less interesting way. It's just one of those things that I feel will constantly be a part of media discourse. People pretending that they care, and people grandstanding about how originality is dead, while continuing to only consume the most basic and overdone trash that they can find. And the most recent example of this comes in the form of an anime series that just recently finished airing. And despite being arguably the most original and fresh series from that season, maybe even in the last year that I've seen, it still ended up being ignored in favor of the same five isekai that you've seen for the past seven years. Healer Girl is about a group of girls working in a medical clinic underneath a teacher who is guiding them to become healers. People who can literally heal wounds and change emotions through singing. And right off the bat, I would personally say that that's a pretty interesting premise in itself. We don't get a lot of medical or clinical based stories in the world of anime, and especially not one that deals with its material in this kind of fantastical way. But Healer Girl takes it one step further and truly embraces that singing aspect about the story by turning this into what I would consider the only true musical that I have seen in anime. Now, your first thought might be, hey, wait a second, there's tons of musical anime out there. Stuff like Your Lie in April, Sound Euphonium, K-On, all the idol anime, the musically charged anime like Symphogear or Macross. What the hell are you talking about, sir? And you are right that those are all musically driven anime, but they're also not what I would consider a true musical. Musicals, or musical theater, is a term that essentially denotes things that tell their stories through music. Not that music is a part of the story, or that music plays a role, it's when the story, dialogue, and characters are all being conveyed through the use of song, dance, and music. There's other hallmarks that are usually brought up when talking about musicals as well. If you've ever seen one, you know that they're traditionally very over the top, very excessive in the way that they are trying to communicate the emotions and storylines that they're presenting. Britannica artfully describes it as characteristically sentimental and amusing in nature. But basically what I'm trying to get across is that all of this is an extreme rarity in the world of anime. The director himself said that when he proposed the idea for this story, he was told in response that these kinds of anime musicals just don't exist in Japan. And I won't say that there isn't some hidden, obscure series that matches everything that I've just said, but I can say that I've certainly never seen it, and that I've certainly never even heard about it. The closest thing that I would say you get to this are anime series like Symphogear or Revu Starlight, where the fights and battles between characters are sung out loud in a very theatric and previously mentioned over-the-top way that does function not totally dissimilarly to musicals themselves. However, in those series, the musical sections are entirely revolved around the fights and performances, and not necessarily incorporated into the actual world or the storylines themselves. This, in my opinion, is what sets Healer Girl apart as a true bona fide musical that embraces what musical theater is all about. Telling a variety of stories, conveying complex character emotions, conflicts, drama, happiness, success, celebration, this entire wide spectrum of everything that makes up a story's core, all told through the use of music 
and singing. If you've seen any actual musical, you know what I'm talking about. That over-the-top theatrical way of singing even through your thoughts, conversations, and arguments. There is no limit to what song can convey in an actual musical. Now, being a musical in itself is pretty unique for anime, but it doesn't necessarily make it good. And I want to talk about why this series is so good and explain some of the things that it does that really elevate it into something special. And first and foremost, I really think we need to start with that general concept of a musical series surrounding people who heal. Director Yasuhiro Irie, who you will probably know as the director of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, started this project with the simple goal of creating a musical. He didn't know what kind of musical he wanted to make, he didn't know what the story or the content would be, all he knew was that he wanted to make a musical and that he wanted to avoid other popular uses of music in anime like Symphogear or Idol series. While he was thinking about how to make a musical outside of these two tropes, he thought about a way that young women could use their songs and showcase them without having to fight. He noticed that nobody had used the idea of using songs to help people feel better. This is the ethos that Healer Girl is built upon, not just on a literal story level of healers in this world that basically serve as doctors who can treat people through singing, but the very idea and theme that singing and music can touch you emotionally and resonate in a way that heals. Everything from the music to the characters down to the storylines themselves all have this theme and message run through them. This is an exceedingly joyful, positive series that focuses around the warmth and good in everything it contains, and it never ever dwells on the bad. There is drama, there is conflict and struggles that have to be confronted, but Healer Girl always leaves you with the idea that everything will be okay in the end. And I think there's something so beautiful about creating a story like that, communicating positive messages and themes and imparting healing, not just to the characters, but to the audience itself. I think that's something that's often really overlooked in good music and idol series is that joy and warmth that music can give people. So this entire concept is kind of like a hit you over the head way of communicating that idea. And I think that idea is naturally conveyed in this series so perfectly through the use of music. It goes without saying that if you're going to make a musical, you want the music to be good. And in Healer Girl's case, I can honestly say without exaggeration that some of the songs in this series make me feel things that I honestly can't recall ever feeling purely through the use of music. Now, like I mentioned before, these songs are meant to tell a story, so that's obviously part of the impact there, but there's also just a sheer craft and heart to a lot of the songs and performances in this soundtrack that I feel like even in a bubble, you would be able to tell just, wow, this is really hitting me, man. Sometimes in these kinds of musical stories, you kind of just have to go with the fact that narratively they're supposed to be these great singers, even if in reality they're not actually that special. But in Healer Girl, you genuinely feel the skill and talent of everybody involved, and you especially feel the discrepancy between the different singers and their skill levels. In Healer Girl, there's a big focus on mentorship and learning from your teachers, and one thing they absolutely nail is showing the more inexperienced sides of the actual girls who are learning underneath their master, and simultaneously having that master just be the absolute greatest singer to ever exist. I mean, you don't cast Ayahi Takagaki and not expect world-class singing and performances. Which kind of leads us into the other thing that I think Healer Girl absolutely knocks out of the park, and it ironically has almost nothing to do with the actual musicality and singing nature of the series, and that would be the actual characters, and more specifically, the writing that drives all of their interactions and dynamics. 
One thing that becomes more and more clear as you watch this series is that while the stories themselves aren't necessarily that out of the ordinary, I mean, countryside episode, tournament episode, culture festival episode, these are a bunch of things that you've probably seen a million times before, but it's the actual writing and wit of these characters that makes all of these stories way more fun and interesting than they would have been otherwise. This is my absolute favorite kind of script to see in anime, one that is so fast, clever, efficient, and natural at communicating so many little details or telling so many quick, punchy jokes that it almost feels impossible to take your eyes off the screen. It's really kind of hard to describe it specifically in words, but it's just one of those things where one tiny scene between a group of characters can tell you so many little things about their personalities and the way they interact, or manages to effortlessly blend so many entertaining pieces of dialogue or comedy, where you can tell the writer was at the top of his game crafting all of these little scenes that form a complete and satisfying whole. The characters themselves are also great in their own right. Even without super fast paced or witty dialogue, this is just a group of characters that you can immediately tell have this beautiful and satisfying chemistry with each other that is constantly paying off, and which is ultimately what makes all of those fun or comedic scenes land as hard as they do, and even what ends up culminating in more satisfying drama later down the line. At first you may think they're a bit overly tropey or overdone, but the series goes out of its way to really show you that no dude, these characters are very genuine and they don't necessarily fall into any kind of box or archetype that you may initially think of. However, I can't mention all of that stuff, all of the great writing and back and forths and chemistry between the characters if I didn't also mention a large part in why all of those things work to begin with, and that would be the production. Now looking at it at a glance, you might not see much worth writing home about. It's a pretty modest production all things considering, even if it was on a great schedule that puts the rest of the industry to shame. It's not really jumping out at you stylistically or with over the top sakuga, but I think this series truly shines in both its animation and its direction for how expressive it manages to make these characters. In the performances themselves, there's a great attention put on both the lip sync and body movement that really adds a lot to these musical sections and makes them feel more musical, even when the animation itself isn't necessarily super in-depth or crazy. However, it's when you look outside of the performances when you realize that there is an overall identity here to the way that they wanted to present this series. All of the body movement, all of the expressiveness and dynamic poses, the camera work, the rhythm of scenes and cuts, and the way characters move, all of it is still retained even outside of the musical performances. It makes you realize that you're still watching a musical even when you're not actually listening to music. And that kind of leads me into my only real complaint or, or note, I should say, about this series, and something that I think you should know ahead of time before watching it. In my opinion, the actual musical side of this story isn't as explored as I think it could have been. I know, shock! Gasp, how could I say such a thing after shilling it this long predicated on that entire premise? And I do have to be clear that I still think this is a wonderful series that explores all of those musical sides to its premise well. Like, it, it doesn't disappear, you still get one to two songs and performances every single episode. But if I'm looking back on what I think a musical is defined by, I would say that Healer Girl doesn't always take advantage of using that concept to its absolute fullest to tell a story. And I only say that because there are many episodes in this series that absolutely do utilize that concept to its fullest and tell very compelling stories, very compelling characterization, all through the use of song. It's just not always quite on that level, and I think that's something to keep in mind, but I really do think that this series is worth it for the sum of all its parts, and I do think that all of the non-musical sections, all of the dialogue and the comedy and the fun, all of that is just as valuable and just as enjoyable to watch. Give it a shot, support these kinds of projects that are not only great, but also are doing something new and fresh and pushing the medium forward. I can only hope that more of these kinds of musical anime start popping up more frequently. Let me know in the comments if there are any more series like this out there. 
Join the Discord community in the description to talk with me and others about this or whatever. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.